All right, Triska. You ready to go hunting? You're a pretty dog, aren't you? Real pretty dog. Are you hungry? You're a pretty dog, huh? There's a lot of folks in here that, in, in the community that, that put their stuff together as to make ends meet. And uh, you have custom buckle makers, uh, custom spur makers, uh, other individuals that are um, that are putting this stuff together to make um, make a living, and others just do it for a hobby, just to keep the tradition alive. Nobody made me that. Uh, Mr. Lopez made this. We all we all like doing stuff, making stuff with our hands, and so I mean I think it's it's neat to have stuff like that from other people. Harder, harder, harder. Going free holes. Watch the hand, buddy. Pull it What's that? Rhino. <laughs> cool. Busted saddle parts. That's basically how we, how I got started replacing buckles, uh, leather straps on, on head stalls, on fenders and saddle caps from the saddle horn. Um, just, it's just old, old barbed wire. That, uh, a lot of it's been donated, you know, friends from the ranch and, you know, stuff like that. People tear down an old fence and I've seen people bury rolls of this stuff, big, huge piles of it, bury it, and just, you know, I look at it, it's like, wow, there's a lot of windmills. I guess it's just kind of my way of hanging on. I've got the best of both worlds. I'm Hispanic. My family comes from the area. Um, they're all, well, my grandfather was a vaquero, a cocinero. Um, I've got a profession in law enforcement and allows me to be have a combination of both. The Western flair behind it and law enforcement part of it, and then still be able to have the patience, the knowledge, and and the will to, to keep these traditions alive. The cook-offs, basically I learned it off my grandfather, who used to be a a camp helper, a camp cook helper when he first started. He was born in 1910. He cooked uh, pan de campo for us. This is what a real cowboy bread looks like when it's done. Sure, look at that. Man, that's gold. Pretty. And on New Year's Eve, we would get together at my grandfather's house, and I said, oh, I'll do it, Welo. And uh, I, I attempted it. The pan got too hot, so we burned half our batch. Work it, work it, baby, work it. We honed our skills as time went by. Now we're able to go and compete and even win at some of our local contests. It's it's very significant to the people in the area. It um, keeps them involved, keeps the tradition alive. Uh, that's basically why we do it and we try to keep it going. Country cookouts will draw large number of folks from in town to come out and enjoy what the life that it used to be back then. <laughs> These guys, they may do it all day for a living and then yet in the evenings and the afternoons what they'll do is they'll spark out the lights at, the, at their home arena and they go to practice, practice, practice. A lot of them do it because they love it. They've been doing it for years. Their folks, their parents have been doing it for years. They do it for a living. They do it for fun. They get really, really good at it. Some of these arenas, they're makeshift arenas. Uh, an old pen that they put together in a pasture or the back end of somebody's backyard. Folks in town have uh, soccer fields and baseball fields. The arenas are there for the kids and the older folks, keep, keeping the family involved, the local community involved also. It's a team of a header, which will be on the left-hand side of the steer, and the healer will be on the right hand of the steer, and um, the ropers are when he calls for the steer. The racket of the gates makes the steer automatically jump out and dart towards the middle of the arena. The cowboys, um, he's gonna try to latch on, per make a perfect latch by roping his horns, and then he's gonna dally, his, he's gonna dally, stop the steer, and then once the header's done his job and roped the horns, turned him, the healer's got to catch the heels. <laughs> These guys can go on a weekend. They'll load up Friday afternoon after work and uh, go to the ATM, 
get some cash and they go up north to the Dallas, Fort Worth area in Oklahoma to compete. Fastest runs ends up with a with a prize, whether it be money, uh, saddles, uh, horse trailers. It can put you in debt if you let it. Uh, it's just like everything else. It can be as bad as you may have to join Gamblers Anonymous and stuff like that. Part of uh, community life is you have um, the churches and you have the cemeteries, and they wanted both of them on the ranch land. The um, Shaded Five um, is the uh, the original brand of Rancho San Pedro, <clears throat> which was um, my great 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 grandfather, four times removed, Pedro Champion. And Rancho San Pedro was actually a sister ranch to Rancho Toluca. And this cemetery that we're standing here was actually uh, Rancho Guadalupe. And they were all on the same land grant. Now, I remember when my dad first gave me the brand, he said, uh, you know, I'm gonna give you this. And there's the original branding, one of the original branding irons. So I remember he took me out to what's left of Rancho Toluca, because it was converted into farmland. And it's right on the river. And he walked me through it, much the same way his dad my grandfather walked him through it, but he said, I want you to know where this brand was used and uh, who it was used by before I give it to you. And so it, it was kind of a, and I'm not just giving you an object, I'm giving you your family history. Yeah, I mean, to me, all these things, you know, whether it's a cemetery coming here and visiting uh, with my, uh, my relatives or having my branding iron given to me, you know, and, and continuing that tradition, uh, those are, that's, a, that's part of the lifestyle. You know, wearing my brand on my jacket. That's my way of saying, you know, I'm proud of what they did. Maybe we don't do it to the degree that they were ranching at that time, you know, you know, thousands and thousands of acres, uh, hundreds and hundreds of heads, you know, cattle and horses, but um, we still do it.